We're here with Joran Marby, the incoming ICANN CEO and president. Joran, you were announced as the new president and CEO a few months ago. How's that week been for you? Interesting is a very good word. Um, I feel very humble uh, about being appointed. Um, and a lot of people have helped me and to understand more and more about the role. And I have to say it's been very encouraging so far. Um, I'm kind of on, on a road to learn a lot right now. And, and people is giving me an awful lot of chances and a lot of knowledge to me. So it's been a very good ride so far. A lot of people look at the role that you're coming into as CEO, president of this very unusual organization with this multi-stakeholder multi model, and they go, that's got to be a tough job. I would never want that job. Yeah, you obviously did. I'm, a, I'm, thinking, I'm very happy to come into this role right now, and I see, I see it as a very, it's an important role, but it's a role within a community, mm -hmm. and it's important Everybody is pointing out, and this is one of the reasons I took it, it's a part of that community. So I feel myself a part of a very uh, interesting and good team. What has been your experience as you are previously with ICANN? How much have you interacted with the ICANN community? I, I kind of been around the ICANN and internet governance issues. Um, I had in 2012 the pleasure of hosting the Eurodig. I've been visiting uh, the IGF. Uh, and I have people actually going to ICANN meeting as well. And internet governance questions are important in, in, in the telecoms industry as well. But I haven't, this, Morocco is the first ICANN meeting I attend. Let's touch on that. Let me explore that for just a minute. Um, how has your former position as in the Swedish Post and Telecom Authority, how's that prepped you for this new role, if it has? I, I think it's been a base of something. Um, I also worked with ITU. I also worked um, as a chair of the European Telecom Regulators Forum which has been a way for me to learn about working with stakeholders, uh, working with interest groups, and also working with uh, people from other countries and cultures. Um, and that I think has been, I wouldn't say I've been prepared, but it's taught me a little bit about how to work with different consistencies. So you had the proper foundation. I, I know that I have a lot, I'm humbled enough to know that I have a lot to learn, but it, it gave me a, a, an idea um, how to do it. Excellent. You've come in at an important time in ICANN's history. Uh, the community submitted its IANA stewardship proposal to the U.S. government. Why, what's it like for you coming in at this time in that context when this is such a historic time? I, I see the transition as a national evolution. Um, and Fadi has done a great job of building up an organization, but also the previous CEOs and the whole community has done a great job. It's not only about ICANN as such, it's the whole community. And we ended up with a point, and I'm now going to, when I was 19, my father turned around and gave me the keys to his car. And that was the kind of, I, I used this analogy because what happens is that uh, when I got that keys, I never driven so slowly and never ever dent, I washed the car, I filled it up with petrol. And that was because I, he actually thought that I behaved good. And, and what happens right now is the multi-stakeholder model with the community has worked so well that we are at a point in time where we can actually take the next step. It's a national evolution. And I'm very happy to be part of that evolutionary process. Joran, let me ask you this. Um, in the context of what's happened at ICANN with your predecessors, and now that you've had uh, and are still developing a sense of ICANN, what do you see as probably your greatest challenges looking ahead? Right now I'm in the process of, of, of really meeting people to understand the basis of it to, and to really understand how I can support the community uh, from the ICANN. It will take me a while before I can come back to these other issues but it's really important for me to work with the stakeholders, the community and everybody else to understand what we have to improve. Um, I, I, I state the word evolutionary because we have such a sound foundation we're going to build on. Um, but I will come back to and um, talk to the communities rather than me sitting here saying that these are the problem and how, this is how I'm going to address it. Because essentially this is an organization, not only ICANN, but the whole community that has to work together. 
what is, what is the thing that you would most like the community, the ICANN community and the ICANN staff to know about you or the way that you will approach this role that they don't already know? I'm a team player. Maybe it's because also I'm Swedish. We, br we brought up with consensus. We're a small community that we have to work together and we have to figure out solutions together. Um, maybe that's something I would like to know to people. I will ask a lot of questions. Um, I will try to figure out as much as possible. But in essence, I need people's support uh, to achieve what we have to achieve, especially after the transition. Jorn, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you.